Greetings, guys. It's Caleb here with another Bible lesson. This one's on food. We like food, right? Food is good. You know, the Bible says every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Everything that we have on this earth, including food, is ultimately from God. Let's keep that in mind. Now, here's a classic question. What's your favorite food? We get asked that pretty regularly, right? It's a good icebreaker question, getting to know someone, that sort of thing. What's your favorite kind of food? We've got quite a few to choose from, don't we? There is um, hamburgers, there's pizza, there's corn dogs, there's ice cream. Uh, oh, and there's fruits and vegetables too. Don't forget about the healthy foods. Lots of foods to choose from. But you know, right now with the coronavirus, some people are getting worried when it comes to food. In fact, lots of people are worried when it comes to food. They're worried that the shelves in the grocery store might start to empty and there won't be enough food for everyone. They're also worried that food will become more rare and prices will start to go up and it's gonna be a lot more expensive just to get the food we need. But you know, Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. In other words, we need more than just food for our bodies, food for our bellies. There's another kind of food that we need. What do we mean by that? Well, we've talked with some of you guys about this, but every person is made of three things, a spirit, a soul, and a body. That's what you're made of, those three things, spirit, soul, and body. Now, our body has appetites. We need food. We have an appetite for food. We're hungry if we don't get food. Just like your body needs food, your soul also needs food. Your soul also has appetites for things like love, things like attention, um, things like happiness, entertainment. Our soul has appetites. Why do you think people are unhappy? Why do you think people are miserable and depressed, um, angry, frustrated? I would say it's because they may have plenty of food for their bodies, but they don't have enough food for their souls. Now, where do we go to get food for our souls? Well, the answer is simple. It's the Bible. God's living, holy word. That is where we go to get food for our souls. And you know what? It's not too hard to get a hold of the Bible, right? A lot of you guys can get it on your phones, the Bible app and that sort of thing. Some of you guys even have Bibles with your names printed on, customized Bibles. Try to get the Word of God in your life every day. Maybe just read a few verses and think about what those verses say. You know, there was a man in the Bible named Job. He said this, I have esteemed the words of his mouth, God's mouth, more than, the, than my necessary food. You know what he was saying? That the food for his soul is more important than the food for his body. And you know what? That's how we should look at it too. It is really important to read God's word to have food for our souls. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. When we read the Bible, we're reading about Jesus. And he feeds our souls. He gives us joy and satisfaction that we're not going to get from anywhere else or from anyone else. Read the word of God. It will change your life and it will change your life for the better because it is a living book and it's from God. That's all for now. Until next time, so long.